don't approach me in public unless I come to you. Wow. Or unless I give you an eye. What? Because one thing about me... That sounds like the mafia. Like, don't approach me unless I approach you. Know you know what? Let me actually stop. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. I don't actually mind being approached. Stop it. Get some help. We live in a world that is obsessed with thought culture and lonely women. This is the reason why you will not get married. We have too many thoughts, too many 304s, and not enough real women. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button on your way in, tickle that notification bell, that'll let you know every time we upload content, you know what we're gonna do. Before we do anything, say it with me y'all, we're gonna roll that clip. I don't mind guys that come up to me and yeah, talk yeah, to yeah. me, let me be really real. Yeah. If you are not tall, sexy, <laughs> With amazing chat, don't waste your time. You see, this is the reason why so many women are single. No man is going to take a woman seriously half naked on the internet. You'll be a one night stand, a jump off, a 304, and that's it. See, the problem is with women is that they demand more from a man than what they can give. Yep. You want a man to protect and provide, take care of you, give you a house, give you a car, give you a nice life, but then all you wanna do is get naked for Twitter, stay on kitty, and do whatever you wanna do. So then when a man holds you accountable and says, in order to be with me, you can't do that, all of a sudden, you're ready to leave. This is the reason why so many black women are single. We are the only race where our women choose money and career over finding a man. Men are taught now to pick careers before relationships, pick careers before men. So then that way, if you spend your whole lifetime trying to build a career, most women are going to put their career before their man. Women are taught to put yourself first. When other groups of women go to college, what do they have before they graduate? An engagement room. What do black women have when they graduate? Student loan debt and loneliness. That's the reason why so many black women are angry and bitter and they justify 304 behavior online because they do it. I was on Twitter earlier today. For those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. I was talking to two, three out fours, two different conversations, and I was blocked by all of them. This was my comment. Women are no longer being objectified. They are objectifying themselves. This is the culture that we live in. And women went ham. They not only attacked men, but they attacked women and anybody who agreed with that comment. This is the culture that we live in, where 304 behavior is now the standard of beauty. If you're not a 304, if you're not on OnlyFans, if you're not selling kitty on Twitter, if you're not doing if you're not half naked on instagram you're not a woman you're not doing anything the 304 culture has taken over the black community when the world shut down the 304 culture took over there's two things that are keeping women from getting married Number one is 304 culture. Number two is entitlement. We live in a society where women expect a man to hit the ground running on day one, but yet 
come to terms and can't come to terms with the fact that men want a woman to hit the ground running. We want care. We want understanding. We want commitment. But we're not focused on what men want. We're focused on what women want. We're focused on what can a woman get from a man instead of what can a woman give to a man. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's the MVP. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. <laughs> we live in a culture where women would rather shake their tail than shake a salt shaker. They would rather cook on Twitter than cook on a stone. They would rather antagonize, demean, and disgrace themselves than to put on some clothes and be a wholesome woman that can one day become a wife. Because all of this OnlyFans stuff, what are you going to do when you turn 40? What are you going to do when you turn 50 and 60 and you have no money? What are you going to do? When your OnlyFans money runs out. What are you going to do, ladies, when your OnlyFans money runs out? What are you going to do when your Twitter thought money runs out? What are you going to do when you're 50, 60, and you can't thought anymore? Then you're going to be out. You're going to be up a creek without a panel. You're going to be stuck. You're going to be looking to men to pay your bills, to pay your rent. Then you're going to be on government assistance, WIC, Social Security, and Medicaid because you can't take care of yourself because you were a thought your whole life. This is the problem. Men, we're trying to help. We're tired of it. We want real women. So if we can't get a real woman in America, we're going to go overseas to get real women. That's the truth. And women need to stop being thoughts 304 and degrading themselves because it's not cute. It's not cute. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video, peace.